Today we have something quite interesting for you guys that involves the famous brand Balenciaga, make sure to watch the whole video, because this could send chills down your spine and could potentially open our eyes about brands. The evil abuse of children that the world is waking up to today has been going on for many, many years. The Industrial Revolution was fueled by hundreds of thousands of children sold off of orphan trains at local fairs across the country, many of which were born within orphan asylums and referred to as foundlings. History shows us that not everyone sees an innocent child as someone to protect, and the Balenciaga scandal is exposing a hidden cult that celebrates the death and torture of children. The same photographer who placed the Supreme Court ruling on child porn in the Balenciaga ad that sparked this whole recent scandal also did a photo shoot for France's Double Magazine that featured a traumatized looking child having her passport photo taken for a trip to the same Disney Cruise Line that provides snorkeling trips off the coast of Epstein's Island, otherwise known as Little St. James. Both photo shoots appear to have been styled by Russian stylist Lada Volkova, a highly celebrated stylist in the fashion industry who works for Vogue, Adidas, Chanel, and has been a top stylist for Balenciaga since 2014. She has deleted her Instagram account since the scandal hit, but archived images show a dark appreciation for child abuse. Images of violent pedophilia, child torture, child disembowelment, Satanism, and cannibalism. Many of these images are appreciated by her rich and famous designer friends, Gosha Rubchinsky and Mark Jacobs, both accused of peddling pedophilia in their own work. A recent video shows what appears to be fake babies sold in blood-spattered Balenciaga swag. It's in your bag. In the bag, uh, like stuff for me. So it's like, what should we do? What's in your bag? Can you say, yeah, can we do what's in the bag, please? Do I hold it for you and you can take things out? Excuse me. Yeah. Look, there's like a, like when she starts to cry. Right as the Balenciaga scandal goes viral, Hollywood actress Nicole Kidman, who was recently glamorizing eating bugs, proudly releases her own Balenciaga ad on Instagram. From what we are learning about these people, it seems strange for us to put our faith in any single one of them. And by all appearances, this wasn't an accident. It seems to be another demoralizing psyop. The Balenciaga stuff just gets worse and worse. Check this out. The people that recruited all of the models for Balenciaga's runway show was a woman called Rachel Chandler, who um, has been on Jeffrey Epstein's island. She's even posted a picture on Instagram of CCTV footage back in 2013, bragging about being on the island. This stuff's got me wondering if all high-end fashion brands are just fronts for human trafficking. So most of us know by now that Balenciaga got themselves canceled by having BDSM bears photographed with children. The same style bears were featured in one of their last runway shows, which was held in a mud pit, as if the brand weren't disgusting enough. But who opened for the show? Yeah, Kanye West was pretty close with Balenciaga before they got canceled for that last photo shoot. Kanye's been all over the place for years. Everybody knows that. I'm sure he's been through a lot. I feel for him, but let's keep our eyes open, yeah? It's a very small club, and yet the majority of us still seem to obsess over them, like royalty, which begs the question, do we have any power? And if we someday find that we do, what are we going to do about this evil? Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.